Yep. Yep. The moment I start, there is something wrong. That is this in a nutshell, isn't it? That That is just kind of Star Trek Online in... In one sentence, the moment I started, the moment I started up, I noticed something wrong with the game. Feels good to be back. Hello, everybody. This is Alchemisted, and uh, this is not Rise of the Red Shirt yet, but it is coming. Let me break this down real quick. Basically. The idea of this is that the PC servers are unusable, they're unplayable for me, and they, they have been for the longest time, and that's why you haven't seen Rise of the Red Shirt at all. It's because the game just doesn't work. Uh, it, it's just a mess of rubber banding and damage not registering. It's practically unplayable for me, so that's why I haven't been covering Star Trek Online. But with the release of the console servers, which... I don't know, maybe maybe it's just they cleaned up the net code or something, or maybe it's Microsoft and Sony have a high demand a higher level of QA, like have a higher level of QA control over these servers, but they work really well. So th they work reliably, and that's what I need. So basically what I've had to do is I've had to start over on a console server, because I can't carry over any of my... Uh, C-Store purchases or veteran benefits that I had because because I don't even know. It's a whole discussion for another time. I don't even I don't even know what their reasoning is behind that. Well, I know what their reasoning is. They want you to buy everything all over again, but it's, it's, it's this is ridiculous. But anyways, I've had to start all the way over again, which means rolling a new character, and I have a plan for this character. And my plan is this. I'm going to take this character from the beginning of the game to end game in a light cruiser. And then once I get to a point where I would be able to afford a tier 6 ship, or when I get to the point where I can commission a tier 6 ship, this character is then going to get the Reliant Light Cruiser, which both is in the game and isn't in the game. Hence the thing that's wrong. So, uh, I don't know how... I'm at 720p, so I don't know how well you can see. Let me try and get a decent view. If you look real close, you'll notice that this ship has some very odd-looking texturing on it. It's got Azteking that is reminiscent of the motion picture. That's because they redid the texture for the Miranda class. They completely redid it. So let me go ahead and see if... Nope, it's still the same fugly. Miranda. So, as you can see, the texture for the new Miranda... Yeah. The texture for the new Miranda is on, is in the game already, and uh, when you look at the model, you see like missing textures on the engines and the weapon hard points. Gonna exit the ship editor and show you something. Oh my god! Ah! I said the console servers were reliable. I didn't say they were good. So I want to show you this. Starships tier one. That tier 6 version, I'm going to go to tier 6, so there is no light cruiser here. I can't see it, but if I go to tier 1, and I'm going to go here to the light cruiser, Oh, what's that? That's the Tier 6 Light Cruiser. It's in the game. They messed up. They, they, it's in the game. It, they must have put it in because they have a limited number of patches, like getting the 
they have to get like patches approved, so they must have put it in with all the stuff for um, season 13. That's the tier 6 light cruiser model. So that model is in the game, which means that the new light cruiser model is in the game. And for some reason, they didn't turn they either didn't turn it on or forgot not to turn it on yet. So, right now, if you're on a PlayStation 4, and I assume an Xbox One, you can just go to Customize Starship with your brand new Miranda and start rocking a really clean looking texture with lots of missing textures on it, which we're going to do just because. I just wanted to show that. <laughs> the more things change, the more they stayed the same. I just started Star Trek Online, I just rolled a new character in Star Trek Online, and something's already wrong. <laughs> oh, hey, Flare Spire. Yeah, I know. I know. It's, it's kind of like, it, it's like picking on the short kid almost at this point, is kind of what it feels like sometimes, but... The, the tragedy is they really aren't. I mean, they're, they're backed by Perfect World, which is maybe not the wealthiest publisher, but it's uh, certainly a large internationally traded company. Like, this is what it's come to. This is where we are. So yeah, this is the USS Revere, and she is going to be our steed for this character. The, uh... Tier 6 version will be the Revere as well. It'll, we'll just, like, upgrade it eventually when it's released or when they just, like, turn on the ability to purchase it. So I will not be able to get it, probably, when we hit Endgame because I am ref getting it via Dilithium and refining that much Dilithium at this exchange price. It's going to take a while. Got the long day sleep pattern reset. Crashed early yesterday. Welcome to 12.30. Now it's 10.52. Oh. So you heading off to sleep or are you struggling to stay awake? It's, uh, programming and handling of asset libraries. Let's we'll just do what the community usually does and blame Al. That's what that's what people usually do. You're forcing yourself to stay awake until 10 p.m. Okay. I find that caffeine helps. So. Social. Oh, I am male. Um, oh, that's where I mailed myself stuff. So, this is our crew. Uh, I skipped the tutorial, and uh, Elisa Flores and that lot got Future Endeavored immediately. Because they have nothing to do with this character's story. And they don't matter anyways. After this tutorial. Uh, I tried to get this guy as close to an Efrosian as you could possibly get. I only got three, because we don't need more than that. Because we're just going to be in a light cruiser for most of this game. I do have pulse phasers though. We are rocking the we are going to be rocking the pulse phasers and I have enough pulse phasers to kit off no. And I have enough pulse phasers to kit out that tier 6 ship. Even with sugar and milk. Uh you can get more caffeine from more places than a uh, coffee, bro. Alright. So, I have done Stranded in Space a couple times, and that's it. Hello. So, Diplomatic Orders is next, and we are just gonna go... Ha, <laughs> ha,
We're just gonna like start going diplomatic orders, and we are just gonna go through and level ourselves, uh, Admiral. I don't think we're gonna get all the way there today, but we have we'll a get diplomatic there. mission for you. An important Vulcan ambassador is traveling from his homeworld to the monastery at Pajem. Uh huh. Capturing the ambassador would be a major coup for the Klingons or Orions, so we're assigning you to make sure everything goes smoothly. Haha, <laughs> sucks to for them. Ambassador Soketh to Pajem. Please meet him at Vulcan. Once you locate him, speak with him about the transport mission. Do whatever is necessary to keep him safe. I have failed before I've even started my mission. We're off to a great start. That sucks for the Klingons and Orion. Somebody beat them to it. I do have to say that that new Miranda model is was a big factor in choosing to do this with light cruiser only because that Miranda model is gorgeous. No, I didn't want to go in. Mm. So the console controls leave a bit to be desired. X does everything. It's gorgeous. It really is. And with those pulse phasers on it... I'm also thinking withering torpedoes, because the withering torpedoes are real good. Okay. <laughs> well, it's because X does just about... No! X does just about everything. So... You, it's kind of like in Final Fantasy XV where you're like trying to interact with somebody and instead Noctis is just jumping up and down like an idiot. Except a lot of the time I'll be trying to jump and instead I'll just be opening this menu over and over again. So it suffers from that, but I think the console controls aren't that bad. Um, certainly another factor in picking a light cruiser is smaller craft benefit heavily from the console controls. They are so fun to fly. It's a bit like Star Trek Legacy minus the terribleness. Minus the game-breaking flaws that Star Trek Legacy suffered from. Yeah, I tried to get that guy as close as I could. It's sad that there aren't that many classic um, species represented, or at least not that many species from the movies. Greetings. Thank you for agreeing to escort the ambassador to Pajem. Blah, blah. Ambassador Soketh is currently attending a ritual to honor the end of the Call Wreck holiday. He will be done soon, but the ambassador is hesitant to use transporter technology. Oh yeah, Bridge Commander His is bias fantastic. Against the transporters is not logical. But I have come to accept it. It's too bad that Star Trek Excalibur is just, like, lost in the wilderness at this point. I remember I was really looking forward to that game. I believe that Soket would be much more comfortable traveling by shuttlecraft. I have received clearance for you to land near the Ambassador's location. I look forward to meeting you in person. DOSBox. If you're trying to get Bridge Commander uh, to work, you can use DOSBox and win, like... You, you can go kind of go Inception-y with DOSBox and install Windows XP into DOSBox and then run Bridge Commander from that. But yeah, I remember a lot of people were having like trouble running Bridge Commander when Vista 7 came out. The TARDIS shuttle. And everybody is floating off of their... Can, can I visit the Starship Bridge from here? No, I can't. Well, we'll visit it in a bit. Um, this looks really nice with the new lighting engine. I'll talk about the new lighting engine a bit more once we're clear of Vulcan.